Hello folks in YouTube land. Welcome back to another show of the James Did Show. Sorry it took me a little bit of time, a longer time this time to come back. Uh, with the pandemic still on the rise here in California, uh, work schedule has been really, really hectic. Didn't really have time to put out much videos. But I did have time to add one more to my collection to the RK1. As you can see behind me, these are all the machines that I have in my collection so far. But I added one more that I got just this week on Tuesday. I added to my collection. So, without any further ado, let's start the show so I can introduce to you the new RK One Up family. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, without any further ado, let's welcome the newest member to the RK1 Up family and the newest to my collection, NBA Jams. Now, NBA Jams is a basketball game that I remember in arcades many, many, many years ago. And um, I used to drop a lot of quarters in these bad boys to be playing for hours and hours and hours. And mind you, just like Street Fighter, just like Miss Pac-Man, just like Asteroids, you had a line to play this game. And we had a lot of people that wanted to play this game because this game was so popular that you had it in pizzeria, you had it in arcade place, you found it in little, little mom and pop malls. Uh, you basically found it anywhere. And... Um, the designer of the game from Midway um, made this game so popular that they made a lot of royalties on this thing. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it was like in the billions when this thing came out. And NBA, to get the likeness of the NBAs, you had to get a lot of rights to a lot of the real life players to even put their face on these games. Um, but it, it, it was a wonderful game to play. I enjoyed playing it and I'm happy that RK 1UP has finally came out with one that I would love to have in my, in my collection, and I'm glad to have it here. Uh, NBA Jams comes with three games. comes with NBA Jams Original, you got NBA Jams Tournament, and you got NBA Jams Hang Time. Hang Time, not many people remember it. I remember it because it was up-to-date, more graphics, and you had more players from the original teams on that system, where NBA Jams and Tournament, they had a tough time, like I said, getting the contract signing to put the likeness of, of all of the players back in those days onto a, a, a video game like this. Um, so it's, it's wonderful to see that they came out with this one. You get three games with it. And for $3.99, it came with the riser. They also had a $5.99 unit that came with the riser, but it also came with the light up button. I didn't want to spend that much money on a $5.99 just for having light up buttons. I can always get buttons and install them that will light up. Um, so I thought the $3.99 was, was very efficient. I thought it was pretty good. But uh, what's the added bonus to this, and I'm going to show you the first one because there's actually there's two added bonus to it. The first one I'm going to show it to you right now. So we're going to turn this puppy on and you're going to see what that added bonus is. As it's loading, you get a light up marquee. How cool is that? This is the first RK one up machine that comes with a light up marquee straight out of the box. All the other arcade machines that I have, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Street Fighter, Millipede, Centipede, Marvel Superheroes, none of them had any light up marquee that came with this. This is the only one that has it. So Let's doze a little bit in and look at the tech specs of what this is. Yes, boys and girls, we have tech in this thing. This is the very first RK1 machine that has tech. So stand by as I bring you a little bit closer so you can check out what this tech is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So now, as I was saying before, this is the very first RK1 that has tech in it. If you look over here to your left-hand side of the screen where I'm pointing at, it has a built-in Wi-Fi. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the very first RK1UP that has a built-in Wi-Fi. Of course, on to your right, 
is the leaderboard. And the leaderboard is everyone who plays on NBA Jam on live, online, not live, but online, are updating their scores as they play along with the game. But that doesn't end there. You also have your stats of every game you play from any of these three games will be showing you up on the leaderboard. So right now I won one game on this game. But then if you go down to hang time, it will load up the stats for, your, for the hang time. And I won three games on hang time. So each game holds a stat of how many times you win a game and between how, many, how much of a score you get on the leaderboard. But wait, 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 wait. We're not done there yet. Each of these games from NBA Jam, NBA Jam Tournament, and Hang Time. You ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? You can get someone to come in and play with you online. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. You could be player one, player two, player three, or player four. And someone who can log into your system and play against you. Or play with you as a team. You can have yourself and a virtual person that's on the other end of the internet playing player two while you play player one. And you can have two live people in your home playing player three and player four. And you all can play a four-way game. How cool is that? That, does, that doesn't even compare to what the other systems here. None of these systems have this. This is the only first and only put out by rk one a system where you have a built-in Wi-Fi, a leaderboard, a stats that you can keep track of, and you can have someone play with you remotely online while you're connected to the Internet. That's just like having a PS3 and an arcade machine just rolled up into one. How cool is that? For $3.99, folks, you cannot beat that. You cannot beat that with a handbag. I think it is well worth the buy for NBA Jam. And I hope in the future that we have more games like this. Like Street, like Street Fighter vs. Capcom. I hope they will do something like this where you have a leaderboard and stats. And you'll be able to have a built-in Wi-Fi where you can have people play with you remotely from any location anywhere. As long as you're connected to the network, you'll be able to have someone play against you. Or play as teams. Play co-op. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. So now, let's give this game a play and let's see how it actually works. Why are you still connected to the internet? So we're going to start with NBA Jam first. And there you go, NBA Jams. Now we're going to try all three games. We're going to try NBA Gems, and then we're going to try the tournament, and then we're going to try Hang Time. So you guys get a general idea of how each of these games are played. And hopefully, maybe we be lucky, we'll get somebody to jump in and play with us. So, I hit play a one button. Yes. Now, you're able to put your initial up, and this is how you keep track of your stats. I'm already in the system already, so I will put up my name, which is J. Then I put the month that I'm born, and the date. And there is go my record. I have one wins, one streak. I will, I'm playing with the LA Lakers, and I, and I lost to the Maverick Dallas. So, I'm gonna play the Lakers again. Lakers! I got Worthy and D-Bot. Tonight's matchup, Lakers versus Mavericks. Now mind you, it takes a little control. It takes a little while to learn these controls. It's been a very long time. So let's get this party started. Our projected Ooh, nice one. Terrible shot. No good. 
Juan Irving. Stolen. Oh, he stole it from the middle of the air. Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? That's crazy. For two. No good. That's sick. Harper! Harper! Ooh, nice block! Bebop! Air ball! Worthy! Get it in there, yeah! Ooh, this is not going down, let's see that! Maverick down by two! Three pointer. Oh. Good. One. To For two. Tied up. Worthy. Oh. Mm -hmm. To Man, that was a good block too. He still got it. Tied. Tied, we tied the score 12-12. But you get the general idea of how this game is. And the graphics you can see, it's a little bit old school. You can definitely see the 16 pixels that is pixelated. So we're not going to continue any more games on this one. We're going to let this game go over so we can go over to the next one. Now, when you want to switch to the next game, you hit your live button, which is right here. Boom, shakalaka! And it'll go boom, shakalaka. And they'll tell you, do you want to leave this game? You hit yes and then you'll leave this game. So then you leave this game, you go down, and now the next one we're gonna try is NBA Jams. Oh, and I forgot. See this little wheel on the side? You can, in each of the game, NBA Jams, NBA Jams Tournament, and Hang Time, you can change the way the game plays. You have tournament mode, but you can disable it or you can enable it. Now tournament mode is when you're playing against people to compete who can be on the top of the leaderboard. Now in tournament mode, you can play against the computer or like I say, you can play live with somebody on the other end and you gotta try to beat them to get the winning stats and the streaks on the game. So the next one is computer assistance. You can have your AI help you along the game. And if you don't want them, you can disable it by putting disable. This is for sound mode if you want to enhance your sound mode. They do come with two dual speakers on top so you can change the sound. You can make it where it sound the way it is or you can make it sound a little bit clearer. Head size is the player of the game. Whether it's your, your player or the computer player, you can do both. Well, you can make both the head size, the size that you want. You want normal size, you want big size, you want it large, or you want it normal. Either way, you can set that degree to you. Drone difficulty. Now, this is for when you're playing against a computer. You can make it to where it's extra easy, where they don't put up any resistance. Make it easy. They give you some little bit of a hard time, but it's still a little bit easy. Normal was it gives you a normal challenge. Hard is when they would be smacking the crap around, around you, still in the ball, still in the ball from midair, pushing you down, stripping the ball from you, and extra hard, which is extremely, extremely hard to play. Where you have to really have a strategy and outthink the computer on this one. So we're gonna leave this on normal. And game speed, you can have it on normal game speed, but the time clock will wind down on its normal pace or a faster pace. So if you wanted to go fast or extra fast to get the game go faster and get it over with, you can set it to that degree. So we're gonna leave it on normal. And scan line is just basically a new setting for scan lines where you just scan the, 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 the computer I mean, not the computer, the graphics of Fidelity on this thing, and it will do um, a little a little bit of, of upgrade. 
to the system. So we're gonna leave that off. So now we're gonna go up to hide this menu. And now we are going to play NBA Jams Tournament. So let's move this over. Let's get that started. And as you can see, it has updated rosters. Yes, this does update your system. So every now and then you may get a patch. You may get an up upgrade to each of the NBA Jams. Um, some of the players, they're still trying to get rights and likeness to them. So you may get them later on down the line. So most of the times you may get two of the same people on the same team. Like if you have Scotty Pippen, you may get two Scotty Pippen because you can't get the rest of the uh, team of the other players from the old Chicago Bulls on this game. So they are trying to get the likeness and the rights to that. So let's, uh, let's get this game going. So player one. Once again, you put your name, your nickname in here, which I don't think I ever started one on this one. So my stats won't be on this one. Uh, 25. See, no record. So yeah, I didn't play this one yet. But I played the NBA Jams and I played Hang Time. So I'm already in the system. So once again, it has the same matchup. You got Charles Broccoli. You got uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. You got young Scotty Pippen with uh, Armstrong. And so let's see. Bulls. I go with the Bulls. Of course. The night matchup. Bulls versus Mavericks. And he always put me with Mavericks. What's up with Mavericks? I'm tired of playing with Mavericks. Okay, let's go. Here's the tip. Computer does it. The first thing I do, I get pushed. What? Good catch. Nice. Now watch this. Three points from Pippen. How sick is that? Oh, he blocked it. Oh, we got a player joining in. So this is good because now I'll be able to introduce this to the show, this player joining in. So now I got a player playing against me on the network. Yes, three-pointer. Nice. Oh, he snatched the ball for me. Nice. Play with somebody online, so uh, so that's good. You see how easy it is for them to connect into your system and play against you. Um, so unfortunately, he wants to challenge me again, but I'm not going to challenge him because we're going to play the next, we're gonna play the next one. So 
So we're gonna log out of that one. Because I'm just showing you, demonstrating to you how the game is. So if people want to come in and play, wrong time. So now here goes hang time. So hang time, if you remember, was the last and final installment to the NBA Jams, which uh Oh, well, he wants to set me into his game. Uh... Boom, Shakalaka! Oh, no. So, waiting for Washington for life to accept you into their game. So, how do you accept them into your game? I think he uh, froze my game. Boom, Shakalaka! So, let's leave it gonna disconnect I guess when he tried to connect to me he did it too soon before the game loaded so let's try again there you go hang time so yeah he logged in and he saw me come on so he tried to connect to me real quick before my game was even loaded okay so we got Termel who's the top player on this game right now and he's got a lot of people that's trying to beat him so Let's get a game started. And once again, you put your name. Now, the difference between the other two is that this one, you leave a password. Here you go, you got Scotty Pippen and you got Rodman. And then you can change the player by hitting the turbo button. So I'm gonna put back where Scotty Pippen is to my left and Dennis Rodman is to my right. Boom, you accept it. The Chicago Bulls versus the Vancouver Grizzlies. This is gonna be a great matchup, folks. Here's the tip off. Ooh. And this game is underway. He loses. Good steal. Goes up, leans in. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Bosses it. To Murdoch. Shoots. Right through nice the shot. net. Nice shot. Hit him. Hit him with three. Yes. Uh. Stick it to him. By three. Anthony. With a layout. Nicely done. Pippen. From outside. Trey. Swish. Chicago. Leading by. Pippen crosses it. Fades from the paint. A faint shot. Vancouver. Behind by two. A Three again. Shot. And it holds mm. out. I missed that one. Anthony. Plays it up. Incredible. Gotta get my three on this one. Again with a shot. Yes. Ugh, three. Two for Goes up. Plays it up. Incredible. Nice. Pippen. From outside. Three. Way off target. Come on. Anthony. From outside. Score. Score the three. I can't let that go. Pippen. From long range. Oh, get that back. Murdoch. A pass. Bates. Yes. Wow. Pippen. Okay. Scotty Pippen. Murdoch. Good steal. Serious hang time. Mm. He's not. I'm talking about to Pippen. From Three. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh. Murdoch. Score. He's trying to throw a three. Pippen. The steal. Oh, nice steal. Oh, and he didn't get it. Bad decision. So. That's how you see the game is. Unfortunately, we didn't get anybody to log in on this one, on this game. But I'm sure the more way if you play the more and more, you'll get somebody to log in. But, uh... 
game over. So, boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka. I love that. Boom shakalaka. So now, now that you get to see how uh, NBA Jams is, let me come back to you guys with my final thought on on what I think of this system. And now my final thoughts to the NBA Jams. I have fun since I purchased this thing, and I think it's well worth the price for $3.99. Now, not everyone can afford a $3.99 arcade system. Some people might go for the $2.99 without the riser, but probably will still get the light-up marquee. Um, but if you're able to have that extra money on the side and want to go the extra mile and get the $5.99, with the light up buttons and the extra marquee, then you got a lot of money to shell. Um, but for me, the purchase for $3.99 is well worth still having a light up marquee without having a light up button and still have the high riser that goes with it. Um, my final thought to this one is it's just like how it was when I was a kid 13, 12 years old, still playing this thing, dropping a lot of quarters, having my mom getting pissed off from stealing her quarters to play these games. And this is not just this game, a lot of my games I remember in my childhood. Um, and I've been dropping a lot of quarters in those as well. But the NBA Jam was, if you're a basketball fan, was an extra bonus for you to want to play, an extra center. It was challenging. It had people come in and challenge each other who's best. You play one-on-one -on -one heads up or you play as team. And I think uh, playing team was the most fun because if you and a partner knew how to play well with each other, you could dominate anyone on this game. And they will have a hard time stopping and challenging you because if you're using the same characters of your favorite teams, it's a very, very challenging situation to play this game. Um, I think the controls on here are just like it was back in the days. Um, like I said, it doesn't hurt the wrist. Um, but if you've been playing it on console and you're going back to this, it may be a little bit of challenging because they're so used to the X, Y, and square buttons to where here you have your shot, your pass, your block, and your turbo button, which is the white button on the bottom. And then you have your basketball field joystick okay. control there. So it can be a little bit challenging if you're used to playing on a console. But if you can reminisce and go back and play this and get the controls down here packed, you'll get the feel of the game and learn the game and enjoy the game. Now, this is definitely one to add to your home, to entertain your friends, your company, um, or just have the family members just on a weekend challenge each other, you know, and just, it's a family fun uh, thing to have. Um, I'm totally impressed at the fact that they added Wi-Fi to this one and that they add stacks of scores to the leaderboard and not only that, they added the bonus to where people can remotely come into your game and play against you or play with you. That is an, add, an extra add-on bonus. I wish they would have done that for the rest of these arcade systems. And I hope that in future, they have other arcade machines that will come out with challenges like this, that they will keep this Wi-Fi and leaderboard stats and remote play all on the same thing. So I give this nine thumbs up if i had nine thumbs i would give that nine thumbs up but i would definitely give it nine thumbs up it's fun it's entertaining it's cool the controls are awesome uh now remember the players between nba gems and nba gems tournament are not all there you still have the two of the same players on the same team because most of the rights to the older players nba gems have never got the likeness or the total rights to add them to the game so you may not have all the players that you remember back in the days on the system, but in all, it's still fun to play with. Um, it's still entertaining, and I definitely would recommend people getting it. So if you haven't gotten NBA Gems, go out there and get it. $3.99 for your basic light-up marquee, basic system with the riser, or if you have the extra money, $5.99, you get the light-up marquee, you get the light-up buttons, and you get the riser. 
whichever which, whichever smooth in your pocket and whichever one you prefer best. But to me, I just thought the three ninety nine was just much much my my rim. So if you guys like this video and you're into NBA Jam or you want to purchase NBA Jams, put it down in the description below and let me know when are you going to get it and what is your favorite team. And if you are able to hook it up and you have internet at home and you hook it up, look me up. I'm up there as the James Dent Show on NBA Jams and I'm hoping to see you guys playing on this machine too. <laughs> so if you guys like this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And also hit the notification bell for every other future videos that comes out in the future. Um, or oh, one last thing before we leave, we have uh, a couple more machines that's coming out from RK What Up. I have been looking on their website, and I'll leave it down in the description below. Their website is rkoneup.com, and you can see the list and rows of RK machines that's coming out. The next ones that's coming out are Miss Pac-Man, Street Fighter vs. Capcom, and Frogger. Can't wait to see those machines come out. So, once again, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for playing with me with NBA Jams. I hope to see you guys on NBA Jams and hoping to play with you soon. Until then, thank you for watching. God bless. Be safe.